Bigger than I thought. I guess this is better for like when friends come over. When they come over, I can just put this to the side. My breakfast is served. So this is bread that I got at this cafe called Oti Jelly. Apparently, this is a bread called Di Jelly. And then I got my Christmas tea with some honey in it. They set up the hanger for you, but you gotta do it on your own. How am I gonna do that by myself? I really don't want to do this. Look how much crap it is. Just for one shelf, and I have to do that three times? Oh my god. This is like deja vu all over again. Except, it's much more tough this time. Fun. I don't enjoy this. I'm not a handy person. I know some people find it fun and like therapeutic. No. Not at all. You know how some people say they find this fun? fun. I think I finally finished one. <sighs> Took a quick lunch break and now on shelf number two or hanger number two, just gonna be the hardest one because it's the biggest one. Let's go. Guys, my phone ran out of battery so I couldn't capture it, but I actually did it, guys. I just have two more to go, but I'm gonna take a rest because I'm getting a splitting headache.
it kind of still feels unreal that I have COVID. <laughs> I don't know, because I was able to dodge it for so long. I thought I was like immune to it and that I would never catch it, but I did. Throat still sore. Um, my headache was really bad yesterday, so I just laid in bed the whole day playing Sudoku on my phone. I had porridge for both of my meals yesterday and <clears throat> today my headache is gone but my throat still hurts so I'm just drinking a lot of water, a lot of tea with honey. I also have fatigue but I don't know if the fatigue is just from staying home all day or me really not having a lot of energy. It just sucks that I had to get COVID at this time because this is the last week of my radio. Starting next Monday, we're starting a new season and my time slot is changing from 8 to 10 p.m. KST to 2 to 4. I'm just really bummed that I couldn't be on air and tell my listeners in person about this big news. Usually I would broadcast from home, but my throat, as you can tell, it won't be that pleasant to listen to on air for two hours. So Iris is filling in for me. Yeah, it just sucks. I have so many things to clean and organize, but I just don't have the strength. I'm glad that I don't have that many side effects though. I don't know if it's because I got boosted. I got ice cream as a gift from Ki Oppa, who I do radio with, this quarter size with four flavors, cookies and cream with strawberry, Omma는 외계인, almond bonbon, and green tea. I don't know if I should be eating ice cream, but... <sighs> That's yummy. They got really good flavors, they're all good. <laughs> yeah. I got you a care package. Are those pads? No, 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 they're the strawberry vintage that you wanted to try. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah. I'm gonna oh. just put it in front of your door. Okay, thank you. Are we social distanced enough? <laughs> strawberry pinto that I've been wanting to try. Is there like strawberry um, cookies? Oh my gosh, she even wrote me a note. <laughs> She's the sweetest. Oh, it looks yummy. Then we have tea. Ooh, wedding green tea. These are so good. Oh, this cup is so nice. Oh my god, is this mug mine too? Oh my gosh. And then more emergency. And then... Sophie. Little hand sanitizers? Oh wow. Why is the packaging so pretty? Whoa. Whoa, is this a hand sanitizer? It's so nice. Oh wow. It smells like a perfume. Kinda smells like fig. Oh my gosh, thank you so much again, Joan. <laughs> so sweet. did not expect a surprise at all. I was just like cleaning my closet. All of a sudden she FaceTimes me and I see a familiar background and she's like right outside my house. Thank you, Joan. sleeping really well at my new place which is surprising because I'm a sensitive sleeper and it takes me a long time to get used to a new environment I don't know if it's just me feeling comfortable here or if it has to do with COVID because I've been taking a lot of meds you know 
So I think that has a little to do with it too. But yeah, I wake up to this natural sunlight, which I'm so grateful for. And I like start the day appreciating the sunshine and the brightness in the room, which is something that I didn't really have in the other house. Today is finally the last day of my quarantine. My quarantine ends tonight at 12 a.m. I do still sound a little nasally, but like my throat pain is gone. I don't have headaches. I guess it's just like congested here. Seriously, I love this blanket so much. It's so soft and the color is so pretty. I have these two pillows that I use to put under my knees, even though these are the pretty pillows because this is better for my spine. I kid you not, while I was in quarantine, there have been some days where I laid in bed for like five hours straight. I swear it was bright when I laid down and then it was dark when I stopped playing. I've been playing these games on my phone. First I started out with Wordle and then I played Sudoku. And then the Sudoku game kept, kept giving me ads for other games and I've ended up downloading these two other games that I've been completely hooked on. It's terrible. I know the ads look ridiculous and then I kind of first downloaded it out of curiosity. I was like, oh my god, what kind of stupid game is this? Who would play this kind of stupid game? And then it ended up being like a puzzle game, kind of like Candy Crush. But that's not what the ad showed. The ad showed like how to save this guy from different ridiculous situations that made no sense. So I thought it was more of like a thinking strategy game, but it's a puzzle game. This is why I never play games because once I play, I just get so sucked into it. That's how I was with Sims. Like in high school, I would play Sims for 12 hours a day and the only breaks I would take is to go to the bathroom. I even ate in front of Sims. That's why I just never get start any new game because I know I'll be obsessed with it. 적당히가 안 돼, 적당히. Which means like, I can't do just the right amount. I always have to go overboard. I have no self-control. So yeah, I've just been playing this and also King Royal Match. Royal Match is another like puzzle kind of game. I know I'm gonna stop once my quarantine ends, so I'm just enjoying it for now. I got to level 399 in like 3 days, 3-4 three, days. Oh my god, I can't stop playing. I only opened it to show you guys and now I can't stop. <laughs> Why does time go by so fast when you're playing games? All I know is you should not be playing games the first thing you when you wake up. Like that is just not the way to start your day. Mm -mm. And here I am. I think it's because I get real competitive and if I can't beat it, I like try at it until I win. Why can't I be that way with other things in life, not games? On the breakfast menu today, we have bagel from mother-in-law and some tea. I decided on the mango and bergamot tea and this mug that Joan got me. I got Nova sandwich, which is smoked salmon, vegetable cream cheese, tomato, and onion. Usually they put caper in it, but I asked for no caper, so it says minus K-pop. Oh, it smells good already. I haven't even opened it yet. Wow. Okay, but the bagel's really small though. What the heck? Come on now. This is so small. I actually started this new series called 39. It's a Korean drama with Son Yejin. It's about these three ladies, their friendship, 
um, I'm just on the first episode right now, so I have no idea what it's really about. For dinner, I'm having some leftovers from the past few days. Seaweed, soup, and some dumplings, and chokbal. Gotta get rid of these. I'm getting ready for radio and I thought I would curl my hair. I always wanted to use this um, wave iron with long hair just to see what it looks like. This iron is from insert name here. So it's been a week since I started my afternoon time slot for my radio show and I don't think I'm still used to it. I haven't figured out my schedule really around the new time slot. Ever since COVID and quarantine, I've been just so lazy. I haven't gone to the gym in like two weeks and I'm, I like say it's because I still need to organize and clean my house but I think that's just an excuse. Like, I'm so used to living and doing nothing that it's hard for me to get back on track. And then I was thinking, I was just gonna throw everything in there. Throw what there? Just throw all my socks in. Oh yeah, 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 that's good, okay. How does it feel? Oh. It feels the same. <laughs> of course it's gonna feel the same. <laughs> Being a little higher. Feeling a hundred after COVID. I feel like I'm fully recovered. My voice is not nasally anymore. My sore my throat doesn't hurt that much. So I'm good. I'm back to feeling a hundred. So I feel like it's been a while since I did an unboxing and I got some stuff from Farfetch and I wanted to show you guys. There will also be a discount code for you guys, so stay tuned. Let's start with this small box. I have four things in total. Oh. So this is a necklace from Fabian Westwood. Mayfair Boss relief pendant or base. Kind of reminds me of Sailor Moon also, the shape. This is what it looks like. Next, we have a little bigger package. This came all the way from Poland. This is a beanie. I thought it'd be perfect for the springtime. I can't give up beanies even in the spring. The next item is from Burberry. This came from the UK. So they like shipped some of these items out right the next day after I ordered it. I was shocked at how quick it was. I really like this like, pastel toned green tissue paper that they used. Oh, I love the light green hues with the brown, the color scheme. It's everything. 
Okay, so I wanted to get a new card holder for the springtime. I've been using my black wallet for like two years and I really wanted to switch up to like a colorful, um, brighter wallet slash card holder for the springtime. I saw this one from Burberry and I was like, ah! Such a pretty shade of blue. Um, it's a little darker than I expected, but it's all good. It's, it's a very simple card holder. Yep, so this is what it looks like. And last but not least, I have this huge box and I'm not gonna lie, I already unboxed this because I was just so excited and I wanted to make sure the size fit. So I tried it on, put it back in the box. The last package is also from Ghani. Really wanted these chunky loafers. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, I need to have this. Looks like this. Ta da! So, Ghani is a positively conscious brand, which means that they measure the impact of every item they produce. Very comfortable. They add a bit of height, so I love that. So those are the four things that I got from Farfetch. I have a 10% discount code for you guys. This is only available to first-time customers and on orders over $150. I'll leave everything in the description box below along with the 10% discount code. So. Make sure to check it out. Okay, so I wanted to pop in real quick before the video ends to let you guys know that the boosters for Mindset that I recorded like three vlogs ago is finally up on the Mindset application. So if you would like to start your mornings with me or end your day with me, please download the Mindset app and check it out. They do have some free boosters that you can enjoy and I hope the boosters really help you and comfort you in some ways. That's all for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye bye!